Well, hello YouTube, it's a vlog, my god, an actual vlog of going out of my house. I've had a few people say they miss the vlogs and it hasn't really been a conscious decision to like, oh, I'm not going to do vlogs anymore. It's simply been the case that I have not gone anywhere <laughs> in order to vlog it. Obviously there was the pandemic and no one was really going anywhere, but the goth scene in this city just <laughs> died, breathed its final rattling breath over the pandemic. Like everything that was kind of like slowing down and going from weekly to monthly to every three months in the pandemic pandemic it was just like yeah we're not gonna do this anymore and it's never really picked back up again in Birmingham it's it's just it's a wasteland now um but tonight VMV Nation are playing so that's where I'm going and I'm very excited uh not that you can tell it from my hair which desperately needs re and has a massive dog shit parting um <laughs> if I was really 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 excited would I have dyed my hair um possibly I have not really been in the mood for going out today it has been one of those where you have to kind of force yourself along with a shovel and um and tell yourself you'll really 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 regret it if you don't go because the rest of your calendar is just dead just just tumbleweed until September there's an amazing thing on in September but tumbleweed until September yeah so you kind of have to go when there's nothing but tumbleweed until September. Um, but also I, I love VMV, they are one of my favourite bands. It's, this will be the, I think, the third time I've seen them. I wasn't very impressed the first time, I have to say, because it took me a while to get used to the fact that they, maybe they don't anymore, but back then they used to have a very rigid set list and they wouldn't like vibe with the crowd at all. It wouldn't be like, oh, the crowd are going mad, so let's like do some kind of more dancey numbers. It was rigid, rigid, rigid. It was like, we'll have a dancey track, then a quiet track, then a dancey track, then a quiet track. And I found that really annoying, <laughs> I have to say, the first time I saw them, I was like, I'm just getting going dancing, and then, oh, quiet track. Hello, who's that? What do they want? What do you want? <sighs> I thought I had a friend. I don't, I have the, uh, I have my phone telling me what the weather is like. <laughs> hmm, I'm actually ready earlier than I wanted to be because face lace, this, this, these stickers are completely amazing. They really save so much time doing makeup. Um, I'm literally about half an hour early because all I've done is foundation, a bit of contour, a tiny smidge of black here, and then just splat splat stickers. And that's it, I'm done. Um, so now I'm like half an hour early and I don't know what to do with myself. So I guess I'm just gonna go. So maybe maybe I will actually get there in time nearly for the support band um, tonight because I'm early. So anyway, I guess I'm gonna stop this wittering and go and get on the train and go and see who the fuck is supporting the Envy Nation and then see the Envy Nation and then come home again and hope I'm not tired. I don't feel tired right now, but I've been tired all day. I was awake at like 3.30 in the morning. I got about three hours sleep, so <sighs> hopefully I don't just see some kind of support band and then I'm so tired that I end up leaving before v, &V come on because that would be like the worst case scenario, I guess. Anyway, this is, this is a waffle. This is a waffle. I guess I'm gonna go, so I will see you soon. Ah! <laughs> Stratford upon Avon Parkway and Stratford upon Avon. Obligatory grimy toilet video. Just met some lovely, lovely people on the train. They were being very nice about my weirdness, Anna. <laughs> so they were nice, nice people on the train. Message. 
And I said, no, owl, for it is mysterious. Wisdom. I salute you for I your I'm wearing an owl bag! So, is everybody ready? Yeah! So this point on, it's gonna be shit. All right? Just warning you. Let's do it! Having gotten rather sticky, it was sticky and sweaty in there and the support band went on too long and I just wasn't really feeling it so I've come out and now my Uber driver Mohammed is on his way which is quite nice so uh, going home. Yeah one of the, you know sometimes you have nights where you're not really feeling it and you go out and it's the best thing ever and then sometimes you have nights where you shove yourself out the house and you're like, never happens. Is this Mohammed? I wonder? Ooh. No, that wasn't Mohammed. Where's my driver man? Where's my driver man? Sitting in the road like a knob end, waiting for my driver man. Really cool graffiti around here actually. Look at all of this. Look at this pretty girl over here. They look at <laughs> those dudes think I'm filming. Um, there's a pretty girl over there. There's one of this, there's some furry fingers like a tarantula over there. It's pretty cool. There's like all of that stuff. It's pretty cool, but I just feel blah. I just feel blah. Take me home. <laughs> a bit of a bleak, a bleak vlog. I think people tune into vlogs because it's like, hey, what a great weekend! I ah, know uh, this is like the the polar opposite, I think. But you you drive past all the things that are. This is the really shit thing about living in the town that you've basically always fucking lived in is that everything is covered in memory. Sorry, my voice is fucked. I think from yelling at the gig, but also from choking on a Mars bar <laughs> while I was waiting for my taxi. <coughs> but um. Yeah, so you're taxiing home. There's this weird little shop called Safebury's. Like we've got Safeways, which is a supermarket, and we've got Sainsbury's, which is a supermarket. But in Birmingham, in the city centre, there's a few little places called Safebury's. Like they've bolted together two supermarkets to make this shitty little corner store. And every time I see that, I'm flashback to like 2001 with Ash, like coming back from Eddie's in his little green Citroen. And um, because we always used to stop at Safe Breeze to get some Red Bull and stuff like that. And it's like, dude, this supermarket's like still around and so much time has passed. And then you get further down the hill and um, <laughs> and you pass this, uh, this little garage that um, kind of like gas station thing that I always used to pull in on the way back home and um, I'd like, I'd, I'd get my, I'd get my A to Z out. You know, my map back in the days when people actually used like actual maps for driving place. I'd get my A to Z out and dump out a load of speed, do a, <laughs> do a line off the A to Z. Now it's like, dude, this, the fucking garage is, it's owned by some other company. It's a whole other thing. Cars don't look like the way they did anymore. So much time has passed. It's just fucking depressing, man. I feel like the the only the only potentially useful thing I can do with my remaining lifetime is write a vampire novel that hopefully doesn't suck now. Because I've been reading back recently through my old drafts of vampire novels and dude, the shit I was coming out with in my 20s, like, I, I honestly feel like, should any 20-something year old be able to write about vampires? I don't know. I shouldn't have been able to, for sure, because mine was just shit, but really comforting at the same time. You, It's, like, so transparent. You can just see, this is what I wanted in my friendships. Like, it's, it's just dream, like, wish fulfillment, really. Like, I just wanted some cool friends to hang out with and to do cool stuff. And that was what I wrote into my vampire novels was like, they, they weren't particularly vampire-y, they just happened to be cool people who happened to be vampires and all of that 
Whereas now it's like, dude, I've lived long enough to see everything I love just go to trash and to have all these places that you drive by and you just think, I remember when, I remember when, I remember when, and now everything's shit. And, you know, and there's just the fact that you'll never really have any first times of anything ever again. You feel all, all the stuff that I wanted to try and all the stuff I wanted to do and experience for the first time, I've fucking done it. And to the point that it stopped being special and magical and cool anymore. And now it's just like, well, what is there I really want to do on this earth anymore? Like, what, what is there that I really want to try out and see and do? Not much, really. Not, not fucking much. Um, and you go do the things that you think you'll enjoy. Like, oh, V&V, yeah, I, I, I like them. And, and you just go there and you're just like, yeah, I've been here, done this, done this. And you know, done this in, in much cooler states of chemical inebriation. Now I just go there and it's like, yeah, I'm, uh, I had just like a few drinks and a bit of weed and, and, and that's it. And, and it's, uh, everything is so meh, you know? Um, but then everything has just been profoundly meh since 2020, really. I reckon, I reckon most people can get through three and a half years of absolute bullshit and keep on rolling. But when there's just been so much fucking bullshit in your life, like historically, you know, just, just bullshit, 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 bullshit. And, and then you, you felt like you were kind of pulling out of the bullshit. And then actually my, my 30s in their entirety, and I'm, I'm actually confused about how old I am. I had to do the maths the other day. I was like, am I 37? Am I 38? Am I 36? I can't remember. 37 turns out. Um, the whole of my 30s has been like a like an unsurpassed sack of shit like i would i would genuinely rather go back and do high school than live more of my 30s and that says it all because high school was hell on earth but at least at high school i fucking understood the world because it was the world that that i'd grown up in and when you're in high school there's there's so much opportunity for change there's there's so much like future ahead of you there's so, so much is going to change and get better if you're in high school and you're like, dude, everything sucks. Like, it's going to get better. I mean, it's probably going to get worse too, but there is there is a good, like a good, I would say, 86% chance it's going to get better. However, when I look the fuck around at people I know in, in their 30s and 40s now, and I'm like, okay, so for who in their late 30s have I seen it actually get better for? at this point when they've had like a whole lifetime full of various shit various shit their health is you know in the fucking toilet by now like mine is and you know blah 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 who have i seen actually turn it all around at my age no one tumbleweed more with the tumbleweed um at this point in life i feel like yeah yeah you you, you i mean you fucking you hear the stories you do hear the stories about oh you know i I, uh, I met the love of my life when I was 37 and then I got married at 38 and I had my first baby at 40 and blah, blah, blah. I don't want any of that shit, you know? I really don't. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to meet a human who I really clicked with, but I, I don't see that happening at this point in my life, really. I really don't. Uh, just, again, statistical probability, when you've literally met one person <laughs> in 37 years who you really got on with... Uh, the st statistical probability of meeting another one is not really that high, you know, not really that high. I was uh, I was going back through my um, my phone pictures earlier, and uh, and I, there's there's you know I think like most people there's certain eras of your phone pictures that you scroll back to a lot for like makeup inspiration or just because you were like well that was a nice thing to look back on, and then I scrolled a bit further than that for once and I was like dude. I haven't noticed this before, but if I look at my phone pictures over the last three years, it's not just the, the ups and downs of like eating sort of relapses and all of that. It's like I can literally just watch myself losing everything that was me. Like, you know, the little random adventures I used to go on there, they just fucking disappeared. Uh, my love for clothes and makeup, that just fucking disappeared. Uh, my love for animals, that disappeared. Um going out doing goth stuff well well that sort of died in the city but i mean apparently when i go and do it i don't enjoy it anyway uh so that's disappeared so you, you just you just watch the general corrosion of your soul over a number of years and you just think 
what are you sticking around for you know um really so uh so that's that's a cheerful waffle a cheerful uh philosophical very dark waffle um yeah i went to see vmv mostly i was playing pokemon um yay for yay for bullshit on phones these days i guess that's the one good thing about the modern era so i played pokemon all through the support band who were unbelievably tedious i'm sorry i'm just gonna i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything tonight clearly um they were called oh i shouldn't even put their name out should i if i think they suck but they, they had a really cool name i will say they had a cool 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 name and the girl was beautiful oh god they were boring it was really boring so i just played pokemon for the entirety of them and then vmv came on and it was like yeah i'm just i'm just it's good it's like objectively good but i feel nothing um so that was that uh yeah so i've rambled at you very pessimistically for 11 minutes and 29 seconds now so i guess i'd better just shut up and fuck off because i think i've said everything i really had to say um yeah well it is a completely different day it's a few weeks later and i had that vlog kicking around and it was like so pessimistic <laughs> i didn't want to post it so i thought i would update the end of it on a day when i'm feeling hopefully more positive today we are attempting to go to the bloody house bottle. we are attempting to go to the pretty little town where they sell lovely crystals and bath bombs and all of that wonderful stuff. I've actually been on like loads of happy adventures the last little while. Um, today I feel anxious as fuck. I actually took a weird detour into a pet shop just to look at the animals um, because I was feeling so anxious. I was like, I just, ah, I don't know if I want to go all the way to Bridge North. I don't know if I want to do it. So I went and looked at the animals and the animals gave me fortitude and I have decided I am going to attempt to get to Bridge North but I am having the most horrible anxiety day and I don't really know why so uh, here we go oh look there's like little flags up and everything oh it's pretty oh have a look <laughs> now fuck where do I go oh shit um parking and theatre that way is this what I'm doing is this right I feel that I go up here don't I Sorry, I'm a little bit lost. Oh God, and I'm in the wrong gear. Library, that's good, okay. Um, parking, over there, lovely. Am I going, is this a one way street? Everyone seems to be going the other way to me. I'm going there, I'm going there. Shit, is there anywhere to park? Yes, 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 I see a space. Yay, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've forgotten how twisty turny and how bad the signposts are around here. But anyway, we're here. Let's go to the crystal shop. Oh, it's so pretty around here. It's so pretty. That's where the shop is. It's amazing. One of the little Tudor buildings. I've just bought so much stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, these are so pretty and I kind of want to take them all home. <laughs> and I have nowhere to put them, but they're so pretty. Totally feels like a little British seaside town or something. It's so cute. <laughs> well, that was quite a mini adventure because I am really having an anxiety day and I didn't want to be out very long. And I only really had one place I wanted to go. Oh, and the Cliff Railway also is shut for renovations. So the Cliff Railway that I've been on a few times here, you can slide up and down the cliffs and go down to the bottom where there's like a big lakey, rivery thing. You can't do that at the moment because it's all being renovated. So there wasn't much to do. But I will show you all the things I bought when I get home. So anyway, let's uh, let's fucking get out of here, I guess. Oh, it's so pretty. You must see it. Look at the hills looming over the thing. If you can even see it on cameras, because you know how cameras make everything look flat as a pancake. But there's a beautiful vista just disappearing behind all the trees. So nice. Oh, it's the bridge. You can see the bridge. Oh, I've got a shiny looking car behind me. He's going to be very disappointed when he finds out my car's top speed up this hill. Bloody hell. I'm trying, mate. I'm trying. I am fucking trying. You can get out of my arsehole, you know. Right. Okay, we're over the peak. <laughs> He's out of my arse for approximately 30 seconds. I bet you he comes revving and overtakes in a minute. What is with this guy? He's either right up my arse or he's 70 miles behind me and he just doesn't have any kind of in-between at all. Like the minute, the minute I start going like a reasonable pace, he's miles behind me like I'm speeding. 
And then the minute I slow down a fraction, he's right up my, right up my rosy red ring piece. It is rude, Mr. Man. <laughs> I'm trying to see who's actually driving the car behind me. They look quite old. <laughs> it might even be like an old lady who's driving, <laughs> driving like a monster. Well, I am back. I am filming on my phone because I cannot be asked getting my camera out and uh, that's why everything looks kind of weird and shitty and odd and I'm keeping my sunglasses on because my makeup is all shagged. It's such a hot day, but the AC in the car was lovely. My feet felt, felt like they were about to freeze off. It was so nice. And um, yeah, I don't know what time my camera cut out filming on the way back, but the driver who was up my ass the whole time, I'm pretty sure she was actually, not quite like a little old lady, but she was like a fairly elderly lady um, in this shiny car, just driving so aggressively. I think I'm gonna have to write a story inspired by that because it's just such a cool idea. Anyway, I'm sitting here with the wonderful things what I bought splayed out in front of me, so I shall show you. Oh, look at my pretty crystals first. Pretty crystals, this one. Oh, it's not picking up the sparkles, but it's super sparkly. And then I got this one that just feels super nice. And then this bit of shamanic quartz. It looks like looking down into a little rock pool. It's so cool. I couldn't resist that. And a little bit of selenite and some onyx. And I'm afraid I can't remember what this guy is, but I'm sure someone will tell me or I will Google him. But he's sort of clear with little black bits. Um, can't remember. It really irks me when I can't remember and it frequently happens. Then I have a bag of scented tea lights. Oh my God, the, the scented tea lights they do are just so delicious. My favourite ones are these whiskey guys. Um, oh yeah, they're like, they're like whiskey and cigars or something. They're, they're like smoky and whiskey and delicious. They kind of smell a bit like whiskey fudge or something. It's really nice. Um, and then this grey one, I can't remember what this grey one was. I think it was like Eastern Spices or something. Um, oh, it smells like incense. Why did I only get one of these? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why did you only buy one? It smells like incense. Oh, I think I'm going to have to email her and say, whatever you put in this one, can you either tell me what it is or sell it as perfume because I want to smell like this candle? It literally smells like incense. It's amazing. And um, what else I get? What else I get? I got, I got, oh, this one's like a vanillary one. Nice, comforting, snuggly vanillary one. And then I think that one is rose and another vanilla and two more whiskey because you can't go wrong with two more whiskey. And then I got this pretty little intention candle with the sparkle sparkles in that smells lovely. And then these crazy ass bath, bath bombs over here. This one reminds me of um, going raving in 2005. I don't know what the smell is, but it used to be a lush bath bomb smell that they used to do back in 2005. And this dude, every weekend before I went out clubbing, I would take a bath in this pink, this like neon pink lush bath bomb that just smelled like candy and raving. And that smells exactly the same. And I can't wait to climb into a bath made of it and have all the memories. <laughs> and um, a lovely rose petty one over here. And then the one called Bruce. I don't know why he's called Bruce, but <laughs> he's called Bruce. And he smells kind of like the ocean. And he's a shark. And I imagine he's going to turn the bath terrifying red, which is going to be really fun. So um, I would have called him Shark Week or something personally. <laughs> but um, I don't know. He's cute. So yes, all my things, all my things, all my things. It's been lovely. So I am not in a shit mood all the time, which is quite nice. I'm either in a like really quite pleasant mood or, or I'm in like the, the worst mood ever these days. Um, it's it's one or the other. <laughs> and um, this this vlog has been both of them, I think. It's been, yes, this has been a bit of a sandwich vlog with a shitty bit in the middle and happiness on both ends. So uh, yes, a misery sandwich. <laughs> Over and out. Bye. -bye.